This is Frankie Catafias with the Idaho News 6 forecast. Well, good morning, Idaho, and happy Monday. 647 is the time for you, and we are starting off with another look at the clouds and precipitation over the last couple of hours. Now, we've got a look. Obviously, we have no shortage of cloud coverage across Idaho, even parts of eastern Oregon. We're even seeing a little bit of some of that shower activity starting to push throughout eastern Oregon, favoring some parts of the west as well. Now, all of this working with a purpose. Current conditions, I'll tell you right now, though, despite seeing some of those heavier clouds, we are not seeing any wet weather, at least not here in the Treasure Valley. It's about 44 degrees. 41 is what it feels like. So a slight impact to our actual wind chill because of a wind out of the west moving at about six miles per hour. But really, if we were to take a look at the temperatures elsewhere, we're not going to see much of an impact. We're seeing maybe a couple degrees also off over at Ontario, but still not looking too bad this morning. We're still right in line with where we were when we were having some unseasonably warm temperatures, even though we're seeing a cool down in the high temperatures. We're still going to see that those low temperatures still fall in line with what we've been experiencing. Future wind gusts today. We are going to see a big boost in some of those wind gusts by about a five, six o'clock tonight, upwards to about 20, 25 miles per hour in some places like Nampa and Boise. We could start to see though overnight going into about Tuesday morning, some pockets of about 30, 35, even 40 mile per hour wind gusts. All of this working with a purpose essentially to support some very stormy uh, weather. We're looking at thunderstorms, thunderstorms producing some very heavy rain and of course some hail associated with those storms. Now before we can get to that, I mean our temperatures for today are looking pretty nice. We're starting to kind of uh, level out a little bit. We had record heat last weekend. We're kind of starting to level back out into our seasonable averages. 60 degrees seems to be a fair compromise in the West Central Mountains. We're seeing temperatures anywhere from the high 40s into the low 60s. Shower activity is expected as well. The showers that are pushing through are not going to be one big wave, but they will be some pretty significant pockets moving forth in the East Central Mountains. Even though we're looking at mostly cloudy conditions, shower activity is not out of the question. And in the Magic Valley, we're also looking at some very minor shower activity, not nearly as widespread, but still they won't be missing out on any of that rain. Now here's a look at that seven day extended forecast. We've got those cloudy conditions for today, so very similar to yesterday. If you kind of had an idea if you were outside yesterday, just know that today is a similar setup. We're just going to see those slightly cooler conditions and really late afternoon is when we're going to start to see the possibility of some thunderstorms. So those are kind of the only modifications to the forecast today in comparison to yesterday. Heading into your Tuesday, we're going to see that wind is so certainly going to be a headliner. We're going to have to worry about some stronger wind gusts like we are later tonight. It's going to be one of those things where if you put the patio furniture out, you got a little excited for this weekend, you might want to bring it inside. Otherwise, you're going to be doing a little bit of an Easter egg hunt, uh, trying to, you know, get your hands on those. And then, you know, Matt, well, I know that you're a big fan of the sunshine. So the good news is the sunshine comes back just for you. Thank Wednesday. you.